Hello, my name is Mark Mitchell, and I'll be with you during the fall 2021 semester for Sociology, the Introduction to Sociology course here at Johnston Community College. And I want to express my appreciation to everyone who has signed up for the course, uh, whether here in the section that I'm teaching or uh, someone else, uh, how much we appreciate you doing that. And we want to help you as best we can during the semester. So, you know, please contact me or your other instructor for sociology uh, whenever you have a question or concern, uh, whether that's by an email, a phone call, a personal visit on campus, or some other means, maybe like a virtual meeting through Zoom or Blackboard Collaborate. Uh, the only bad question is the one that is not asked. So uh, please take advantage of uh, the resource, me or your other instructor, in the course. The purpose of today's brief video is to show you where to find your assignments. And so I wanted to take just again a few minutes and then I think uh, the more that you click and look around in our course shell, the more familiar you'll become because I have tried to set up some patterns. The first page that you'll come to is the announcements page. So once you've logged into Blackboard, uh, you'll come here first. And so let me click on that, but this is what it looks like. And then little messages from me. Uh, there's one and uh, also your passwords and such for your quizzes and exams and other things. Now, the tab that I really wanted to focus on in this video is the weekly assignments. Now, the, for, for the first day, just click on that getting started. And what that does is just really give you some basic information about what to expect for the course. So hopefully this is a a good fit for everybody. But uh, one thing you need to pay attention to is your syllabus. Make sure you read that and understand it. And then uh, the other things, uh, I've listed my contact information and I've also put a lot of bitmojis in the course uh, that somewhat resemble me or, or the phone at least that I used to set it up said. But um, you can see, for example, one of the things I have here is your enrollment verification. So uh, you know, please do that if you're in a traditional course. If you're an online course, you really don't need to do that. Uh, the connect orientation, whether you're in a, whatever type of modality, please complete that. So many of you are very experienced at connect, but please do that. Okay, now here's the really important part, but uh, when you're clicking for your assignments under the weekly lessons and assignments tab, I have uh, broken the course down into chapters. So we will start at chapter one. And it gives you a task list. Some of these are recommended, some are required, some count toward the grade, uh, some do not. They're all listed here. I have uh, lots of resources for the chapters. So the learning objectives, this is not a writing assignment. This is what you should mentally know after covering you know, these materials in the chapter. I have outlines uh, there that break these chapters down. I have PowerPoint slides if you're a visual learner. I have chapter notes. Um, just you know check the spacing before you print them i have a video where i help to talk about some of the things in the chapter that i think are important so you're welcome to use these uh, other links i am creating there as well but then here is your link to your three major assignments for each chapter okay uh, i'm gonna go back to where we were and now i'm in the online course okay but there's the discussion board um, to where you have an article to click on. Uh, your rubric tells you how that discussion board is graded. Here's a video. If you're needing a little guidance, you can click on that. Uh, all for your discussion board. Okay, and then uh, now the vocabulary flashcards, those do not count toward the grade, but just to uh, for help and practice if you would like to. So there's all kinds of games there, but this is not recorded. It does not display in the grade book at all. Now you can uh, click on collaboration and go to the discussion board that way, okay? And um, throughout the semester, all the discussion boards are listed there. You have a post, you have to post first, and then you can uh, see others. Here's a video uh, that really talks about the purpose of the discussion board. And so uh, you can view that. And then once you do it a couple times, you'll become very familiar with it. Again, this is just a short video. That was something I wanted to share with you, but please contact me. Uh, again, I want to stress that a whole lot uh, because I am here to help. That's why, you know, the, I have a job and that's the great part of my job. But thank you and I will be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.